Hi everyone and thanks for tuning in to this new video series that I'm so excited about here on the Suzy Lou YouTube channel. So as of today, I have officially started the Whole30 Paleo Diet Challenge. Now, if you're not familiar with what that is, um, so for 30 days, I will follow the strict um, paleo diet. Now, reasons I'm doing this, um, I've had a lot of issues with my allergies lately um, that involves really bad winter skin issues. I've had eczema for the first time in my life. Um, I used to be lactose intolerant when I was little and I grew out of it but as we get older our bodies change and we become more um, vulnerable to certain um, food items and things like that and I noticed that when I would eat anything with gluten or dairy my eczema and my dry skin was 10,000 times worse so I'm gonna give this a try and see um, if this will help my allergies out so um, I'm going to share this journey with you. I'm going to document each day um, what I eat, um, how I'm feeling, my thoughts and feelings on things, new recipes, um, and various things like that, and um, great information um, as I find it. Now, um, one thing I made sure was to check out the Whole30 website, which I will um, link down below in the um, information bar. Um, they have really great tools on how to get started, um, how to prepare to um, participate in the Whole30 Challenge, and things like that. Um, Pinterest, of all things, is a perfect, perfect tool um, for finding um, paleo recipes. There's actually websites out there that already have um, pre-made um, meal plans for the weeks. Um, and the particular one that I find that I found that I'm following, um, I will link in the information bar as well. So today was the first day and I must say that um, my energy level was already up and I know it might just be um, me um, excited about the new challenge and excited about um, eating healthy and taking care of myself for once. Um, but it was uh, not without its challenges, uh, to say the least. So, but before I get into uh, today, um, last night I actually went shopping and um, bought all my fruits and veggies um, that I needed. I already had protein um, in my freezer from the last time I shopped, but I was really low on the fruits and veggies and um, things like that. I must say it was really odd not buying any um products with grains like breads and and things like that and especially weird um not buying anything with dairy um milk is probably will not be hard for me to give up but um i'm a huge fan of ice cream and cheese so that will be a challenge to say the least um but also um i usually like to have a nice glass or two of wine uh at night Good morning, and everybody it is day one of my paleo challenge and I went grocery shopping last night, but due to time, um, I wasn't able to prep as well as I wanted to last night, like I said. So, I um, just wanted to show you what I've got. got a lot of eggs, got some chicken breast sitting out waiting um, to thaw in the fridge, and got lots of fruit, lots of veg, as you can see, pretty much all veg. So nice and healthy and let's get on to breakfast all right just a little breakfast update i've got my turkey sausage cooking away decided to do um some meal prep kind of while i'm cooking um so i'm just going to cook this all up and put it in a container for tomorrow morning <clears throat> and um just got my peppers and onions waiting and my eggs waiting to go in so we're almost done all right, so we've got breakfast all done. Just I'm um, waiting it out on it to cool, and we're going to package this up and put it in the fridge for later. And it's getting kind of late, so I gotta head on to work, and I'll see you then. Alrighty, so I'm at work. Get ready to eat some breakfast. Doing checking some emails and such, and um, just getting ready for the day. 
Hi everyone, so um, it is about 11, almost 11.30 now, and um, so I'm going to have myself an apple. I've been doing a little research um, because one of my co-workers is having a birthday today, and so we are actually heading to Olive Garden. So it's going to be a bit of a challenge, but I think I found um, something that I can utilize for lunch there. Just have to change it up a little bit. Um, so this will be a good challenge so I can be able to apply it in everyday life um, and going out and about so I don't have to change my lifestyle too much. Much. So um, we'll see you at lunch. Yeah, carb and dairy central. Mm -hmm. So I did my research, like the good little researcher I am, and looked at their menu. I googled paleo options for Olive Garden and eventually decided on their rosemary chicken. And um, I ate lots of salad. And let me tell you, it was rough. Because one of those breadsticks is one of the first things I go for. So, uh, one thing I had to learn very quickly with the paleo diet is that you can't be afraid to order um, to fit your diet. And so, um, I asked that there wouldn't be any cheese on, on the salad. Um, and I also, instead of, um, my meal came with cooked spinach, and, but it also came with um, garlic mashed potatoes and um, white potatoes are a big no-no with the paleo diet and so I um, graciously asked for a side of broccoli instead and they were more than happy to um, to help me out with that so that was great um, and I'm very excited I'm keeping it kind of light um, tonight for dinner as you will see and so it is about 4 19 I'm getting ready to get off work here at 5 um, and then because of my car accident, I have to go and pick up some of uh, the police report. But And then I have a meeting, so I won't be eating um, dinner until a little bit later tonight. But I've got a little fruit snack to uh, keep me over and some raspberry tea. So yeah, feeling pretty good. Energy is actually surprisingly up. Um, so since I didn't eat the... Um, the pasta or bread or any carbs um I didn't have a carb crash after lunch so that was a perk so energy is good and uh yeah see you again so um tomorrow I'm making a paleo minestrone soup in the crock pot so I'll probably be eating on that for um quite a few meals I would I would pretty much guess um so I'm very excited to try that and um so night I kept it light with a um, just a grilled chicken salad um, with um, vinegar, um, with some um, red wine vinegar as my dressing and a little bit of olive oil. So I hope you will um, enjoy this um, web series and this YouTube series as I do it and uh, follow along. And if you're interested in learning more about the Whole30 um, program and want to try it out for yourself, definitely click the link below and I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.